Hey guys, Natasha here with the Day with Ethel vlog. So I purchased the Amazon Romance package and I really like it because I'm finding some new authors to me and I'm finding some great books, like books that are really, um, like they, they had been written years ago and like this one I just happened to stumble across. It's the first in this series and I can't wait. I actually went and got the next three because they're in the romance package. And it's the Hidden Co. Firefighter series. This is book one. It's called After the Fire by Katherine Shea. She's completely new to me, but the cover kind of drew me in. My husband's a volunteer fireman. has been doing it for, gosh, um, 20 plus years. And yes, we live in rural Idaho, but I love this story because it really encompasses the life of first responders. This follows the life of Jenny, Mitch, and Zach Malvaso. Um, and there's um, Grady, and then there's some other people that are at the firehouse, and then at the police station, they're all kind of intermixed. But what I truly enjoyed about this story is that Catherine Shea wrote a whole story. We got the whole picture, and there's a couple other authors that I truly like devour their books because when they write the story it's not just about this couple it's about multiple people and that's what really drew me into this because we have Mitch Mulvaso going through his ugly marriage he has these two bright kids that are struggling because his wife is toxic and it's really hard for him and after this tragedy this horrible fire completely wrecked their town he promised his sister while he was laying there that he was going to do something about it. It's just hard for him to do it because he's trying to protect his children. And so you go through, you, you see this. There is no cheating. When I read some other people's reviews, they quit it because of the language and then it showed it. If you're in an ugly marriage and it's toxic and everything's going on, I felt for him because I almost want to say, oh my gosh, go for that. Go for Miss Hale because she just kind of just had something about her that um, Megan just, Megan Hale just had something about her that I just fell in love with. And so I really liked how that story kind of intertwined and what happened with that. And then we have Jen and Grady. And Jen is kind of rough around the edges, firewoman that doesn't take a lot of bullshit from a lot of people. And I enjoyed that. But she's living with her best friend. Like they have like this his house is like he's on one side and she's on the other but these two have been connected since they were younger and Jenny promised um, she wanted to have a baby and so she goes through this to figure out how is she gonna do it and, and is Grady gonna be there to support her and so we kind of watch these two their friendship turn into something more and it's a it's beautiful how it kind of comes about and then we have Zach Zach is the brother that is like struggling kind of emotionally and mentally the most through this horrible fire that they survived um but it, it affects other levels and he's divorced now and he still loves his ex-wife and then he loves his children and he really is struck like he's getting better his family is like he is getting better and that's what i really like is we watch him grow from this gruff out the edges to this uh, man that's really compassionate and um, it's just the whole story is amazing because um, Megan and Mitch determined to go build this beautiful camp for children that had lost their parents um, if, in the line of fire it doesn't matter if it's the firemen or policemen and it's the passion and it's this whole town and it's this the story that everyone's interconnected we have the um, brother and sister that um, Connie and Paul that are kind of like in the outs with with the other malls of also siblings because you know they have a connection they're on the fire department and the other two don't like they're lawyers and a stay-at-home mom but we watch how they grow back together and they work through like the mud to come back as a family and they do something for this community that is really truly beautiful and I enjoyed it I devoured it in the audio guys I Highly recommend if you guys can get in the, if you guys can afford the Audible in Amazon, the romance package, because there's some amazing authors. And Catherine Shea is now my a new go-to author. Like I said, I've downloaded a couple other of her books because I really want to get like all the books of this um, Hidden Co. Firefighter series. We, and it is, you know, I actually had my husband listen along with it a couple times because we live out in the middle of nowhere, so we have like an hour drive sometimes. 
he actually enjoyed it too because when they were talking about some of the fires and the accidents, it was um, it was similar to what he does when he gets called out for extrication um, in fires. So thank you. It was it was spot on, and I can't wait. I'm starting book two, and I know it's going to be fabulous. So guys, it's in the links. Highly recommend it. Catherine Hill. This is after the fire.